stress call. Sure. Uh, long range scanners run another scan. Scans reveal that it's stationed reactor overloading. Not only that, but an injured in a functioning drone schematic are on the board. Not time for both. Well, life comes first. Besides, now, well, for your first job, repair drone control. Or door control, excuse me. And this Engie is going to be a floater, of course, since all the important manned systems are, in fact, manned, but Hasifa is going to specialize, for the most part, in keeping our oxygen supply from killing us. Which, as you've seen, has been a, a definite thing in previous weeks. So. I could get 32 scrap, or I could try and get information out of it. You are able to pull all of the ship's data about the sector. Your map has been updated. Got an anti-personnel drone, some drone parts, a missile, some scrap. Very nice. Anti-personnel takes two energy. It's worth it. Um, hmm. Gonna start upgrading my weapons now. Gonna need it. Store. What do we got? Nine. Defense drone. Sh shoots down missiles and asteroids. Anti-ship drone. I have that. Automated reloader. Cool down between weapon shots. Give me one second. Ship. Equipment. I do not have any augment slots open. What a pity. Because I want the rest of this all left on. I mean, I could conceivably only swap in advanced FTL navigation when I need it. But yeah. Um, store. Stealth weapons. Prevent your weapon fire from disrupting your cloak. Anti-personnel. I'm going to sell that and buy the anti-ship. Good. Now... I'm going to be stupid and buy this. Ship can only hold three augmentations. Can I move any of my existing augments to the cargo hold? No. Okay, so I'm... I'm as augmented as I'm going to get, so that's it. I'm definitely not giving up any of those things. So... Oops, wrong one. So, is there anything else I really need? Uh, I've got plenty of missiles at the moment, plenty of drone parts. Can't buy any of that. Hull's in good shape. It's time to move on. Let's see, got a good working knowledge of this sector. Try to lay low. You see a small rebel carrier in the distance. You lay low and try to blend in with the other traffic. Traffic, however, it's surprising to see a rebel military ship alone deep in Engie space. Yes, it is. Which way should we go? We'll go this way first. Nope. Shields. Your shields go first. Your weapons go next. And I'm going to do something possibly stupid. I'm going to power down sick bay and power on my anti-ship drone. No, I don't think so. Um... Um... You know... Okay. Okay. We've taken some damage. I'm gonna let the repair drone take care of that, because there's no oxygen in the area. Zeramar needs a visit to sickbay, actually. He seems to be the only one who's even remotely ill, though, so... The ship is holding up well.
everyone is learning their craft well. Except Charlie, he's a little bit slow on the shields thing. A distress signal. We will visit that, and then we will probably make make the for the exit. Search for the ship. Okay, well. I have time. I'm going to go up to that store, <coughs> excuse me, get my repairs, and then leave. Attempt to mine the asteroids. 57 scrap. Very nice. Fix all. FTL jammer. Stealth weapons, no. Let's see. Crew teleporter and cloaking. Really don't want to send my people out to board enemy ships, because they'll just get killed, I'm pretty sure. I'll def I definitely want to upgrade the sensors before I do that. I think I need another bar of power to go with my drones. But we are making some progress. I think... I think if things continue along this lines, I may have a shot at the Rebel flagship. I'm just going to have to do a lot of exploring, a fair bit of fighting, make sure that my weapon stores are good. Excellent. More scrap. One upgrade sensors this time. I'm going to need better sensors so I can see what's going on on enemy ships. So... Next, I think I'm going to upgrade weapon systems again so I can use the breach bombs too if I need to. Pirate controlled sector, but pirate controlled sector followed by a friendly sector if I go this way. That's the winner. Okay, a store! Let's see if there's anything I can use. Boarding drone, no thanks. Um, anti-ship drone. Plenty missiles. Ship's in good shape. Can't use any more augmentations. Let's pick a fight! Okay, first thing to go is going to be drone control. Anti-ship drone on. Because this thing has a lot of drones. I wish I could actually direct my anti-ship drone, but, you know. It's doing a fair job. It's done. We did okay. Got a good amount of scrap. Ship seems to be in decent shape, no major damage. Engineer and weapons officer both close to leveling up. Charlie got a lot of shield experience. Now that I've got two shields, if I see an asteroid field... Here's an asteroid field. Well, I can always zip back to the store and make repairs, so let's go to the asteroid field. Kill whoever's here and set and let our uh, shields upgrade. They do not have teleporters. This is important. Anti-ship drone on. Somebody leveled up, I'm not sure who. Actually, let's take the shields down, because conceivably, if I get the shields down, the asteroids will do the work for me. Plus, their ship's on fire a little. Let's take those weapons down. I'm getting sick of them. Um, I could use the missiles back, sure. So you guys just sit tight, and we're going to sit. 
Um, no system seemed to need repaired, so we'll let that be. Zerimar, the engineer, needs to go here. Ha <laughs> ha! Speaking of sitting there and letting the asteroids do it. So yeah, if I sit here, I believe, if the asteroids keep coming, yep, Charlie will keep getting shield XP, I'm told. Sure looks that way. Okay, we're going to sit here a few minutes, because this is going to be useful. So, this week was Istvan 82's birthday. He is, I believe, now 31. was on Monday, so I got him the uh, Jacob's Claptrap from Borderlands, from the uh, Zombie Island of Dr. Ned expansion. That was a pretty fun expansion, and... The, the deco on the Jacob's Claptrap is just really nice, so he was happy with it. And I'm hoping he's had a pretty good birthday, because I'm recording this like two days before, so I will find out later. Um, other than that, um, I still had a lot of good comments on FTL. Seems like a lot of people are enjoying it. Of course, Dangerously1986, uh, who is my uh, my buddy and longest uh, longest uh, player on Gundam Battle Operation. First English-speaking player I've met. And, of course, uh, Charm City Kid, who is a friend of mine in Istvan. I've uh, known him for a good while. And Charm City Kid will probably be interested to know that one of the things I found Istvan kind of for his birthday at the, Go the Goodwill was a perfect... A, a copy of issue 3 of Dungeon Magazine in perfect condition. For those who do not know, that is not like weird, any kind of weird kinky thing you may have been, uh, be thinking of. It is uh, TSR's old Dungeons & Dragons magazine. It provided like quick adventures for people to use as opposed to, you know, cheaper than a full module, faster than coming up with your own just one of those artifacts of the 80s and the RPGs of our youth. Currently, Istvan plays Pathfinder. I haven't played much of anything in years and years. I ought to start again, but eh. I'll get around to it. I have so many, like, computer and video type games. Now there, speaking of which, there is an indicator of age for you. Who else is old enough to remember that computer games and video games were, you know, were basically separate categories when we were growing up? I mean, this may be a, a come down to locality. It may be a thing like Nintendo tapes. God help us if you ever had anyone who called it that. But, you know, computer games in stores was one section and video games was another because video games pretty much meant console games at the time. Now that there's significantly more crossover, it's all video games, which is fine by me. It always, 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 it all always was video games, but you know, kind of a more fine, more, you know, more of a thing now. Okay, so I just have to be hit by another forty-two asteroids to uh, get my shields maxed out. So. I think I'm going to do everybody a favor and just cut this until that has happened. <laughs>